Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dave. Welcome back. I want to thank everybody who's shown the love and support for the channel. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, I wasn't going to get into this, but yesterday I was asked if I donate a dollar to the Ukraine. I educated the person that asked me for that dollar at the cash, and they were unaware of this. They, they didn't even realize it. Okay, first thing, this is a proxy war. Okay, the Ukraine is not fighting Russia. NATO is fighting Russia. NATO forces. Now, the Ukraine isn't part of NATO, but NATO is in there fighting Russia. Billions and billions and billions of dollars fighting Russia. Germany is moving tanks, as we speak, into the Ukraine to fight Russia. <laughs> if Russia wanted the Ukraine when they first started, they would have gone in there and pounded them and taken it. The only thing that stood sort of in the way is NATO. Now, the U.S. has got their nose in there. Okay, Canada has got the nose in there. We're making enemies with Russia. Now, some people may say, I don't care. Fine. And you know what? I really appreciate any comments. Please leave them down below. I want to hear opinions. I want to hear what you guys think. But they're using the Ukraine as an excuse. Okay? Now they're going in there and they're trying to fight Russia. Now, as far as I've heard, Russia has only got, you know, 20 to 30% of their forces there. Okay? They're keeping their stuff back. They're also now threatening nukes. You see how this is escalating? That snowball effect? Now, Russia has also cut off gas, apparently now. They're saying, no, nope, these countries in Europe, no gas for you guys. And this is starting a whole snowball effect. Now, apparently China is starting to want to help Russia because they're buddies, okay? China and Russia are buddies. And the U.S. has already said, if you touch them, you help them out. There's sanctions. They're already putting some sanctions in there. Well, everything in Canada is freaking from China now, it seems. So we're cutting off our own toes. You know, this this could have been handled way differently. And you notice none of this happened until dingbat sleepy eyes down there in the States came along. Joe Biden, he, he is one big reason this happened because it didn't happen under Trump. Trump and Putin had a mutual respect for each other. I'm sure they would have worked it out. But instead, old Sleepy down there, he let this get out of control. Canada, under Justin Trudeau, we jumped right in, you know. We followed the hook, and we went right in, you know. NATO, NATO, oh. But you know what? It isn't the Ukraine and Russia. Let's make this clear. It isn't the Ukraine and Russia. It's the rest of the world, the rest of NATO against Russia. And if Russia starts to lose, I'm worried about what's going to happen. Guys, please, I, I really, I'm really interested in what you guys are thinking about this whole thing. If you thought it out, what you've, what you've decided, what your opinions are, please put it in the comment section. Let me know. I, I'd love to read it. You know, if you don't agree with me, that's great. Put that down. Put that down. I would love, I would love to read it. Uh, but I think the Ukraine, I think they're getting used. I really do. Anyway, guys, that's about it. I hope you're having a great day. You guys take care. Please be safe.